Okay, please turn off all cell phones or silence them in electronic devices and would everyone please for a moment stand for a moment of silence and the pledge. Roll call. Benelli? Here. Paduke? Here. Amo? Here. Anagnostakis? Here. Benton? Here. Cheney? Here. Faggione? Here. Hines? Here. Kulisek? Here. Lujan? Minuta? Here. O'Donnell? Here. Ruskevich? Here. Sassi? Here. Sierra? Asshole. Staganga? Here. Sutherland? <laughs> Tortel? Tui, Vera, Brescia, 18 eyes, three absent. I mean, three, 18 present, three absent. Okay, agenda item number one. Legislator Benton, resolution revising the proposed 2020 executive budget for Orange County pursuant to section 358 of the county law and section 4.07A of the Orange County Charter. We want to start on the um, going through these changes one at a time, Mr. Chairman. Motion, okay. yes. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to vote separately on the item appropriating two hundred and ten thousand dollars to the legislature. Second. Okay. If there are no objections, that'll be done. We're going to move that toward the the last item of discussion, if that's okay. Okay. Now, what do we need to do? Are there any other motions besides that one? Yes. Mike? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> At the last uh, Special Ways and Means Committee meeting, I made several proposals regarding the budget in ways that I thought uh, we could reduce some of our overspending or overestimation of expenses, I would say. Um, you all have that copy. I just gave you another copy of it. And what I've done, there was some mention at that time that we reached out to the to Debbie, uh, our budget director in that regard, and I've actually went over and sat with her and reviewed some of these proposals. So what I would suggest is that on the bottom of your paper, where you see 3010 public safety, 7510 the historian, 3110 the sheriff, and 3150 the jail, totals $85,000, which would give that department the ability to reduce it how they see fit by those amounts and reduce taxation at the same time. On the top, you'll see also sitting with uh, the budget director. As you know, we have more than 200 funded but unfilled positions in this budget. I will tell you, I've been here a long time and we had that number down to 120 when Mr. Diana was the county executive. And it was because the legislature always talked about funded but unfilled positions. So what I did is I discussed this with her and I asked if she could look at the departments that had vacancy, <clears throat> unfunded positions, or funded but unfilled positions, but only the departments that had more than two. So as you see, there's only one, one uh, position title from these offices that we could eliminate that the county executive has already said he's not filling. He's already had the budget review with them for 2020. So all this is telling you is that there's $1.1 million that we could eliminate in 17 of those 200, over 200 positions. If you look at the first one, 1165, the district attorney, I crossed him out because I know he's gonna need those four positions, all of his positions that he's asked for. So by reducing or eliminating the district attorney, it brought it down to 1.1 million. And if you add the $85,000 for the four that were reviewed with the budget director, 
it would be a total of 1.1, I'm going to say this wrong, I said it wrong 10 times so far today, $1.1,085,000 in reduction to taxation, which is a 0.14%. Uh, I know everybody had concerns that $350,000 was just a drop in the, bu in the, in the bucket. <clears throat> However, so I did some more review. Um, as you know, I'm the kind of guy that wants to try. We all know that we need fund balance. I agree with that. However, as this year, we returned over $6.4 million in fund balance. And my idea is to do, for us to do a little better job. I mean, this is our number one priority is to the taxpayers. By doing a little bit better job and reducing these funded but unfilled positions, we could save the taxpayers that much money. It isn't a big drop in the bucket. It's a small drop in the bucket. However, it is letting them know that we're not just okaying everything that the county executive approves. It's our job to review and make the changes that we see necessary, and this is what my proposal is. So I'm asking if we could reduce um, the funded but unfilled positions by 17 out of that 200 for a total of 1.1 million, and to reduce an austerity vacancy I'm austerity uh, contractual in public safety, 25K, the historian, $5,000, the sheriff, $25,000, and the jail, $30,000. And just as a reminder, I did sit, as suggested by this legislature, with the budget director to determine if these could happen. And I've done what you've asked, so now I'm hoping that you can see the light with this and do a little bit better job for our taxpayers. That's my proposal. That's a motion, yes. Okay, discussion? Yes. If I can just ask a question uh, of Mr. Paduke. Uh, on the sheet that you handed out uh, in the middle uh, of the page, there are references to one, two, three, four, uh, five other departments. Um, and I see underneath it, it says significant austerity. Uh, in these budgets, leave alone is—is is that not you are? Not, are you not proposing yeah, that? I'm not. I'm not proposing. Okay, so we can cross that out That's of this. What I did, right? You okay. Thank out. you. August Leader Amo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you know, I, I think Mike's point is 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 well taken in terms of. I think he's only asking to reduce it by 8.5%. It's not a big number to worry about, but I, do, I didn't look at all of the positions, but I asked Mike if he could address some of them specifically. For example, the, the, the LPN and the, and the nursing home. I mean, I think it's good management to keep enough open positions in the facility like that, given the fact that it's so difficult to get people, and when you do get them, you want to be able to put them to work. So I'm wondering if we don't help ourselves. It's just one position. That, I just saw that one, and like maybe you could address that one. For I, I'll also say about that one is, that position is funded by uh, Valley View. So it really wouldn't be reducing taxation. It would just be eliminating that position. They have, I think they had uh, 16 or 24 positions uh, available that were funded in their budget. I'm reducing it by one. That's what I'm asking to do. And it's out of their budget, so it isn't. What did, did, did you speak to the people at Valley View about this? In terms, is that going to no, no, I did not. I did not speak with them. I mean, I'm just with them during the, the statutory committee meetings, but I didn't to speak to them with this proposal. And there may be some other ones that other folks have a better understanding than I have, because I think we should ask the question, you know, what will be the impact of doing that? I mean, I think the financial impact is good. You're, I mean, you're making a good point. Well, is there any programmatic input we got to be concerned about here? And so one by one, I'd like to know that. And, and if you're telling me that the LPN position is not an issue, then I'll take your word for it. You've done the homework. Well, I, I, what I'm not saying is that that's not the issue. What I did, and I'll re remind you, that any de there's some departments had no funded but unfilled positions, so they're not even included here. Only the ones that had two or more. So they have the ability to fill positions that are needed, if so. So this proposal really, in my, in my view, the county executive already said he's not filling them, so we can confirm that for him. That's what I'm looking to do. Thank you. Your legislator O'Donnell, then legislator Hines. Thank you, Chairman. So we just got handed a sheet on the general fund balance. All right, so I just draw your attention to 2010, where we had 73 million, 
And I agree with you, uh, Legislator Paduk, that we did have it down to 120 unfunded positions, and the current budget is 200. However, I think this should be done during the budget sessions with each department and make them justify their jobs. And I will look at it closely next year. But I'll also tell you, 2013, so we went from 73 million and change in 2010 down to 21 million and change. That's $52 million. So if the same thing happens in the next couple of years, we'll be down to $4 million. All right, we're supposed to keep a 7%. So I'll be voting no on this, but I will work with you next year during budget season to look at each department closely and see where we can uh, work at the budget and make sure it doesn't affect our tax gap. Because there's other things that happen in the budget this year uh, with the uh, upgrades that should normally go through P&C that they put through. So, thank you. Thank you. And before Legislator Hines goes, that's why I asked Kelly to hand out this sheet um, for that very same reason that, uh, you know, we have to be always cognizant of the fund balance. As you can see, in 2013 and 14, we dipped way below where we should have been. And that was, you know, I remember 14 well because that was the first year I came in as chairman and we were in somewhat fiscal stress and our, our bond rating dipped at least two notches. It might have been three notches. I think it was two with an, a negative outlook. And that's something we always have to be very careful of. Um, you know, if once, you, once you do what you want to do, Mike, and, I, and there, it is somewhat of a good suggestion, um, it affects the fund balance. And look at the city of Newburgh, for example. I mean, they, their fund balance is terrible. And, and they're gonna lay off essential services, police officers and firemen, because they let it get dangerously low. Port Jervis in the same situation. They've, uh, they've had double digit increases, or close to it, I think there was 8%, 9% a couple years ago, but double digit increases because they don't watch their fund balance. So, you know, our barometer, our North Star, as I say, is the tax cap. And the county exec presented us with a budget um, that's below the tax cap. And our changes in that budget are still below the tax cap. So I just want us to be cognizant of that. Uh, Legislator Hines and Legislator Nagdasakis. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just a few questions for Legislator Purdue. The first one is on the bottom of the page, I guess it's marked line 3010, public safety. You said contractual austerity. What do they use that $25,000 for now? Well, if you know what contractual austerity means, it's the, it's the department head's ability to reduce spending on paper, on uh, all, it, all those Well, that's austerity in general. Contract, contracts are different. Austerity is a personnel line. Contractual austerity would be based on a contract that the sheriff has. All the contractual now. items that are in your budget book are in that austerity line. There's books, there's pencil, there's paper, there's all kinds of things in it. And it's up to the department head to make that decision where he can reduce it. And if you remember, in, in that paperwork that you do have, the county executive already did some of it himself. So he recognized <laughs> the importance of reducing some of their spending contractually. And I, I'll use the example again. 84900 and something thousand dollars were returned by the Office of the Aging. The county executive gave them a $50,000 austerity contractual to let her decide how to reduce her contractual expenses. That's one of the major ones that he did. And to me, that's our job too. Why aren't we looking at the same thing he looked at in that department? I gave you all the information of how much was returned. Yeah, and I, I will say that this year I was informed more uh, about that uh, line as well because some of it includes, some of the money's returned includes uh, grant funding. Um, and other items, but a lot of it is contractual. So it's up to the department head to decide how to re reduce his budget by the amount I'm proposing, whether it's buying less pencils or buying less paper or whatever, whatever he decides. It's not up to us. I'm not trying to micromanage. I'm just trying to do a, a better job in budget. That's right, but without the page number, 3010 Public Safety, I don't know if that's the 911 center. I don't know if it's uh, fire protection. What, where, where, what line is that? What, what, I'll, what I would say. Like seven budgets under emergency. Right, and, and what, that's right. And what I did, uh, like I said, I, I sat with uh, our budget director, and she said that could include all of the things under that line. So, you know, he's got a big, a big area to be able to reduce taxation by 25,000, whatever it is. Well, I'm not I looking can't to support that because I don't understand that particular area. When we go through the public safety budget for emergency services, we do it 
Deputy Commissioner and Commissioner Casey by piece. So we do fire, we do police, we do uh, you know the 911 center, and, and it goes all the way through the category. To just blanket say 25 grand without specifying which division that's coming from, I think is too arbitrary, and, and I, I can't follow the track. But I'll leave that alone for now. My next question is 3110 Sheriff 25,000. What what piece is that? That's going to be an austerity for personnel, or where, where is that going? Oh, that's, that's if it's austerity for contractual. Again, sheriff has the uh, ability to reduce his spending. The county executive. Let me get my paper here. The county executive uh, reduced him by two hundred and fifty thousand dollars when he reviewed the budget, and I'm suggesting that we go another twenty five thousand. Okay, so when we looked at this budget, we looked at it in its totality at the public safety meeting. And what we didn't cut the sheriff any further was because we made concessions with the district attorney. Actually, the district attorney made concessions with us. He originally asked for investigators and multiple staff for DAs. So we came to a compromise and said, you can have four new ADAs, no new investigators. The reason he asked for uh, investigators was for witness protection because of the criminal justice reform that we all know that's getting slapped on us on January 1. And the agreement is, rather than have DA investigators protect our witnesses because we feel they're going to be in danger now, we're going to have the Sheriff's Special Operations Group protect those very witnesses because uh, we have to disclose the names of witnesses now. Everybody has to know that. Under the new uh, program, witnesses' names, addresses, and everything are going to be disclosed. So we feel that the Sheriff's Office is going to take a hit for that protection component. And they probably need more money, not less. And for that reason, I can't support that either because we're in a position now where the DA is uh, in a crisis mode getting prepared. The Sheriff's Office is going to have to be there to support them to protect the witnesses. And the probation, as we are, you see, we've already moved money, additional monies into that fund. So in totality, when you look at the public safety budget, uh, I can't support those changes. Thank you. Uh, Debbie, could you just clarify okay. a couple things? So the amount for public safety, that would be emergency service administration, it would be E911, it would be fire, uh, civil defense, it could go over all of those seven budgets. That's how I would leave that to them to decide where to find that 25000 It wouldn't be for the sheriff. That, that's separate. Yeah, right. I raised two points. Right. 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 Yeah. Okay, so we're just arbitrarily going to strike 25 from the various departments? Um, I, I would put it in it, and when you say contractual, anything. I'm not asking for your vote. I, that was to yeah. Mr. Purdue, not you. Uh, I would you. put it throughout where, where I would let the department decide where they would want to put it. Okay. Uh, legislator, were you done, Kevin? I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Legislator Nagastakis, then caucus leader Amo. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, be, before I make a few points, I am very unclear as to what the exact numbers are in this proposal. So can you please tell me what's coming from where and going to where? And don't give me round 1.1. I want it to the dollar. Can we someone clarify to me what is going from where to where under this proposal? When you say going from where to where, I'm not understanding what you're asking. What's your proposal? The proposal is to reduce 17 funded but unfilled positions in all the departments that are listed at top. There's 17 of them. 17 of them. It tells you the position title. It tells you the position title number, the bargaining unit, the benefit cost, the salary cost, and the position cost. What's the total amount? 1.1 million for that, for those 17 positions. Okay. Do I see that on this paper? Here? Well, I hope you do. It's on my paper, on everybody. Okay. What's the one, what is the 1 million 100? and $100,085 at the bottom. That would include that proposal for reducing the funded but unfilled positions, plus the four uh, positions, or the four departments at the bottom to have contractual austerity budgets either added to their line or supplemented by this so, additional amount. So here's where I'm confused. Those, those four austerity are worth 85000 85,000. And the 17 positions are worth 1.1 million. 1.1 million? Then why is the number well, at the bottom 1 million? I, 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 I told you I had a problem with that. Yeah. It's $1,185,000. I wrote it wrong. I told you I'd done that 10 times today. Well, so you also said it wrong. That's why I want to know exactly okay. what. Okay, I'm sorry. Where? Well, now you know. 
And you want to do what with that one million one hundred eighty-five thousand? Want to reduce taxation? Okay. Um, so uh, the seventeen positions. You said you didn't talk to Valley View on that one position. No, I did not. You no. talked to the any of the other departments that you. Well, were let me let me just ref, uh, go back a minute. <laughs> I talked to Valley View about it at statutory committee meetings. So I didn't talk to him again about it. This is my proposal. I heard what they had to say. I talked with Donna Strecker about it. I will say that. Is Valley View in favor of eliminating that position? They're, who is? Nobody's. No department's in favor of eliminating any position. That's our job. Um, can I ask a question of Debbie? Sure. Um, I heard or someone told me that you were, quote, in favor of all this. Can you explain to me what that means? I didn't, um, so Nobody I was asked to give an amount of the vacant positions, which would be one position per department. That's what I did. I specific. Oh, wait, 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 you were asked to give what the dollar amount was for one vacant position in each department? In each department for the vacant positions, correct. That had more than two. You didn't make any judgment as to whether you know, they should or should not. I did, I did not. My judgment was the ones at the bottom, the district attorney, E911, DSS, sheriff, probation, and jail. I, I explained that they had currently some significant austerities in their budget, and I didn't think it would be fair to put additional money austerity in their budgets. Um, okay. That's the 17 funded positions we were talking about. Now, what about the four austerity lines uh, that equal 85,000? Your position on that? I said those four departments could probably, and again, I didn't speak to them, based on what they've returned in the past, could probably substantiate that additional amount. They are small amounts. So if I heard you correctly, as a budget analyst, you're thinking that the 85,000, a budget analyst opinion would be that you think that that is achievable on those four departments? Based on past history. history. But as a budget analyst, you had no position on the 17 positions taken out. I, I did not. Um, and one of those, just so, and I told Mr. Paduk this, one of them, um, the 145 fund for the residential health care, that nursing position, that is not taxation either. So right. when you say that, that's part of it. That is not taxation. Okay, thank you very much. So let me close by saying, so, so I, I applaud the effort to, to make reductions. Um, anytime we can reduce taxation, whether it is, believe it or not, $10 or $10 million. Anytime you can reduce taxation, you should, um, even though it might not amount to anything to the real taxpayers out there. However, based on what I just heard here, um, it's going to be hard for me to support this. I would support the 85000 if it were broken out as a separate vote, if their amendment was made to do that, but I don't know that I could support 17 reductions, not having talked to the 17 departments that that's occurring, but I applaud your effort in this. And I will, I will ask Debbie to say, let us know what the impact that this might have on next year's tax cap by doing this. And, and you know, it's always good to reduce taxation anywhere you can, but anybody, and Charlie Carnes is out there in the audience, Supervisor Crawford, anybody will tell you that you can reduce taxation at any time if you diminish services or cut services. So, go ahead, Deb. So, I, I also told Mr. Paduk today that if you were going to reduce those positions at the $1.1 million, I would not recommend that you reduce taxation. We have $19.9 million in surplus used in this budget. If you were going to do anything, I would say you should reduce that before you reduce taxation because of the tax cap issue and what you carry over. Thank you. Uh, caucus leader Amo, or, and I'll come back to you, Mike. No, I just, just I'm hearing comments, and, and I heard what Debbie said, and I, I guess um, I think there is grounds for looking at the 85 maybe pulling that out and look at it, that may be based on how she analyzed the budget. So I'm, I'm not totally against that. Um, you know, when I look at the, with the, look at the, the, the 17 positions, you know, I, I have to look to some of my colleagues to tell me they have a similar concern that I have. When I look at the residential health Valley View and I see it's the only clinical position we're trying to eliminate, that we're gonna eliminate, I, I get a little nervous and I'd rather pull that out and say, why do we wanna take out clinical staff when we may need them? Now, if somebody looks at other numbers and say, well, no, this item, this position is too important to eliminate, I'm not an expert in that. I listen to them. But 
I mean, from my position, if, if, if certain ones were eliminated, I probably could support it. But I would also encourage Mr. Nagasaka's point if we could separate them so it's 85 and, 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 and 1.1. Mike, you want to just comment further? Yeah, I just, I just want to remind you, the county executive already said we're not filling those positions. We're confirming that with him for him. He's not filling them. We're eliminating some of them. That's our responsibility to the taxpayers. That's how I look at it. I've looked at it that way for the same 21 years, and I'm pretty proud that I'm trying to be res responsible for what my uh, job title is. I represent the 19,000 taxpayers in Orange County, and I want to do the best job I can for, him, for them. And the fact is, is that if we have fluff, as I called it with Deb before in the budget, let's work on it. I, don't, I know we need uh, uh, fund balance. Do we need 6.4? Let's make it 5 million. That's what I'm aimed at, doing a little bit better job every year. You talked about the general fund balance. You didn't talk about it going, from uh, 215, though, Jim O'Donnell, to uh, 42, 43, 50, 56. We're doing a pretty good job. I want to slow it down a little bit. That's all. I want to reduce taxation, slow down the increase to our fund balance, but keep it rising. That's what my suggestion is. So um, I heard that the $85,000 before was point zero. Whoa, I, I don't even know what that would probably be five zero before. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. Do I want to break it out? Um, not really. I didn't have the support at 385,000. Why would I think I'd have the support at 85,000? So I did a little better job and added it uh, 1.1 million in other ways that we could reduce the budget with it. That's my proposal. Let's let her go down. Like I said, uh, I'll work with you next year during the budget hearings, but also look at this sheet in the last four years. 25 to 42 to 43 to 50 to 56, we're heading in the right direction. I agree. I want to make sure we keep going that right direction. Thank you. Thank you. Can we call the question on this now? Okay, roll call and yes vote is to, or an I vote is to agree with legislator or minority leader Paducah's suggestion, or motion rather, to approve the adjustments that he put forward. Benelli? Paduke? Yes. Amo? No. Anagnostakis? No. Benton? No. Cheney? No. Faggio? No. Hines? No. Kulasek? Yes. Lujan? Yes. Menuda? No. O'Donnell? No. Riskevich? No. Sassy? No. Sierra? No. Staganga? No. Sutherland? No. Bureau? Russia? No. Four ayes, 15 no's. Motion fails. Okay, now we are. We're going to do the rest individually, starting with the district attorney, or are we. I would assume so, right? Okay, let's go through. Um, I'll entertain a. Yeah, yeah, I'll entertain a motion to. Yeah. Is that your suggestion, Chairman? Okay, well, one is separated. We can save that one for last. So the, the other changes we'll vote collectively if, unless there, anybody wants to separate anything else. No. No, well, I want to do that last. Okay. I was hoping to get one more vote here in the next few minutes, but <laughs> I'm trying to stall a little bit. Mike, do you have anything else to say on your? On your... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we're okay anyway. I think we're okay anyway. So, let's proceed. Okay. The uh, okay. Moving the tourism, the money from celebrations. I'm sorry. Um, into our legislative budget, along with the adding 105,000 into our budget under line item 579-500, correct? I'll entertain a motion for that. Oh, wait, we already have the motion to do it separately, so we're on it. Okay. And, and I believe it's just the legislative 210,000, the 105 
would have to happen to get it over there that we don't have to deal with. Is that correct, Council? coming out of the, the health benefits line. Okay, so they're one motion, okay. Okay, discussion. <coughs> All right, so you're voting on a deletion of uh, the celebrations, uh, 75 because that would decrease celebration. So we want, if you wanna keep it in celebrations, you're gonna delete that line. Uh, that category, and then also the 1010-101-001 uh, legislature, the 210 from county taxation, county contribution. So those two are the vote to remove them off the list. Is that correct, Debbie? It's, it's moved out of celebrations into our budget. But, but the, uh, excuse me, my intent was to vote on the appropriateness of the 210,000. Approve that or not approve it. Um, so we need two separate motions on this? So how mechanically do but wouldn't wouldn't that put the 105 back in the in celebrations? No. No. Okay. So once again, I think I was correct. <laughs> so basically, you're you're requesting to uh, remove uh, from this uh, uh, legislative changes uh, the celebrations uh, category uh, with the minus 105 for uh, celebrations and then removing the 210 as a county contribution to the legislative budget. It's going to be $210,000 in the legislative budget. Correct. And it's going to be Correct. zero for... But you're saying it I think that's what Mr. Cheney is asking, that the 210 be removed. Yes, that's the motion. Okay, but first we need to move it into the, the 105 from celebrations into the legislative budget. So let's get a motion on that first. Let's get a motion on moving the 105 from celebrations into our legislative budget first. Okay, is there a second? Discussion on that motion? Yes, Majority Leader Benelli. All right, so the 105 is currently in celebrations. The first proposal is moving it into the legislature. Mm -hmm. so so that action is taken. We're going to vote on it. You're, you have you're, to vote you're on that. to it right now. Okay, so vote. If you want to move the money from celebrations into the legislative budget, you vote yes. If you do not want to move the money, then you vote no. And it stays in celebrations. Once, once we pass this, Katie, I will make it simple. Once we pass this, it'll be there. Then you can vote no on it. Or you can vote not to even move it or, at all. The way we did it at Ways and Means is we voted to move it, and then when it was there, that's what you. That's what's before you now. You have to move it. Yes. Okay. Ways and Means only asks that you move it. Okay. They make that recommendation to this body. Now you have to confirm that recommendation. Okay. That's what we're voting on. Yes. And that makes the legislative. Slate of the 210. That's right. That's the one, of, that's half of it. So you do have to move it. If you want the 210, then you move the 105 from celebrations. So can we, you don't we want the 210. Let's just do that unless you're opposed to moving it at all. I just have a question. Go ahead. The question is, why don't we just do what Mr. Cheney proposed, to vote on the 210. If the 210 fails, the 105. The 210 isn't there yet. Yeah, but it stays in celebrations. It stays in the celebrations, right? Exactly. It doesn't have to be changed. Right. The intent to move it into the legislative budget is that there's no, there are no county executive approval on it. Once well, Barry's it's Barry's original motion was to separate out the 210 and vote on everything else on that page. So why can't you do that first and then vote on the 210? Now you're losing me. Go ahead. I, I right. think what we need to decide is do we want to 
stick with the 105, or do we want to disallow all 210, or just the extra 105? We have to separate it. Okay, uh, okay. 105. It, it, 105. Per, perhaps oh. maybe we should do it this way. Decide whether you want the total 210 in the legislative budget. My, my motion was to vote on that 210. There's your, there's your extra vote. Okay, so then we need to proceed with this motion to move the 105 into the legislative budget. Okay? There was a second on that. I forgot who, who it was. Legislator, Legislator Nangostakis. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the budget director, if I can ask a question, when we eventually do this with the 105 coming out of celebrations, how much is in celebrations total? That's the total amount. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, excuse me, what was the answer? I thought the total in celebrations was 205 and that there was 100,000 in there on another line item. That's a separate. In right. There's 100,000 for museum grants. Right. And there's 105 for municipal grants. The 105 is what we were taking from celebrations, moving it into the legislature. And then there was an additional motion to increase it by another 105 to make it 210. Yeah. Okay. Got it? I, would, yeah, I would ask that we just proceed with this motion because I think the votes are there for the 210 once it gets into our budget. And who was the second on that? Okay, okay. All right, can we call the question on that, please? If it's okay? We're moving the 105 into the legislative budget from celebrations. That was your motion. We had a second on it. Right. Okay, can we call the question on that? And, and no, no, we're just doing celebrations right now. Yeah, we're moving the 105, Mike, and then we will, after, if that passes, we will vote on 210 in the legislative budget, yes or no, okay? All right, let's call the question. A yes, yes. vote is to move it into the legislative budget. Vanelli? Yes. Padoop? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Yes. Benton? Yes. Cheney? Yes. Fagione? Yes. Hines? Yes. Kulasek? Yes. Lujan? Aye. Menuda? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Skevich, yes. Sassy, yes. Sierra, Aye. Staganga, yes. Sutherland, yes. Tui, yes. Bureau, yes. Brescia. Yes. 20 eyes, motion passes. And now we have a motion to vote on the 210, correct? Or no? Does someone, right. We need a motion. Motion. Okay, okay. Kevin Darian yes. made the motion. Second. Michael Amo, second the motion. Okay. Yes. You're right. Okay, yours encompassed. Of course, it was only 105 when you did that. <laughs> okay. All right. Discussion on the on the two ten. Yes, Legislator Ben. Okay. So a yes vote to support Mr. Cheney means we're cutting the two ten completely out. So if we want to put the one hundred five, we'd have to make an amendment to put it back. Correct. Clarify your motion, Legislator Cheney, please. My motion was to vote on that that line, up or down. Yes. So okay, so a yes vote so Lee is to yes vote, is to yes agree with the two ten. Would leave the two ten in. Right, and then no vote is to not go with that. Okay, any further discussion? Can we get roll call on it? Yes is you're agreeing with the 210. No, yes, but it is. Yes is you're agreeing with the No. No. Yes, no. You're just voting on whether you want this adjustment or not. So yes is, is that you put the money into the budget. The 210 goes into the legislative budget. Yes, yes vote is agreeing with the 210. Correct. Barry's was just to vote on it. Just to vote on it separately. separately. Right, okay. Okay, so any further discussion on the 210? Yes vote is to agree with the 210, and no vote is not to agree with the 210. Okay? All right, roll call. Benelli? No. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Yes. Benton? Yes. Cheney? No. Fagione? No. Hines? No. Kulasek? Luhan? Aye. Menuda? No. O'Donnell? Yes. Ruskevich? No. Sassy? Yes. Sierra? Aye. Staganga? Aye. Sutherland? No. Tui? No. 
Bureau? Yes. Russia? Yes. 12 ayes, 8 noes. You want to change your vote, Peter? <laughs> I'm glad we waited for you. <laughs> what was the tally? What was the tally? 12 ayes, 8 noes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think something changed. All right. We can do a do-over. That's, that's right. <laughs> yeah, let's see. It comes from that end of the county, the do-overs, right? No problem. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Where are we? The, the ESPOs get the extra municipal grant money? Okay. Okay. We'll talk. We'll bring this back to rules probably in the next in the new year to come up with the rules. Okay, we'll talk. Okay, <laughs> all right. What are we voting on? Everything now? The whole budget collectively with the changes? I believe. Yes. People will vote no if they don't get it. That's that's legislator Paduke's going to bring a resolution back at the next meeting to that effect. Same as the raises. Yeah, exactly. Okay, for the next term. Let's clarify that. Okay, so the budget as a whole, right? We're voting on the budget as a whole with the changes that were made today. Just the adjustments. You're not voting, not voting on the budget today. You're just voting on these uh, legislative adjustments to the budget. Right. The adjustments that were passed already. And we will vote on the, the budget at the December meeting, correct? December. After the, the county exec has 30 days to veto any of our changes. Okay? From this day forward? December 1st. December 1st, okay. A little less than a month. Okay. Um, we need a motion on it? Did we get it? On the changes as a whole? Okay, Amo and Kathy this time. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnostakis? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Baggione, yes. Hines, yes. Kulasek, yes. Lujan, yes. Menuda, yes. O'Donnell, yes. Riskevich, yes. Sassy, yes. Sierra, Staganga, yes. Sutherland, yes. Tui, yes. Bureau, yes. Russia. Yes. 20 eyes. Okay, we're done. And the desk is clear. Okay, motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried.